Hello everyone and welcome back to Ignited Minds Expo 2021 powered by Science Kids. Today we have another project being displayed for our event. So if you would please like to introduce yourself and your project please. Yes, my name is Arya Manyar and I am from uh, Robotics Year 2 and this is my project which is the chess clock. Okay. So what have you done in your project basically what do you understand by chess club would you like to explain it to the audience uh, so basically in the chess club there are uh, two different clocks which uh, which are coded together with a button so uh, when i press one button it starts the another clock and when i press the button from here it starts the other clock okay So, what are the components you have you have you used in case of the buttons and display purposes? Ah, uh, for the display purposes, I have used the two LCDs, and I have used a touch sensor, as you can see here. Ah, uh, I also ah uh, you uh, and coded it with the Arduino, and for the wiring purposes, I used the breadboard. Okay, great. Would you like to demonstrate your project? Arduino Nano is basically a microcontroller based on the Atmega 328P. It is also breadboard friendly. The next is the I2C LCD. It is a display device. The full form of LCD is liquid crystal display. This LCD also has an I2C in it. It means inter-integrated circuit. It reduces the number of pins from 16 to 4 in the LCD. The LCD is used for displaying the time in the chess clock. The next is the breadboard. The breadboard is a constructional based board based on the prototyping of electronics. And at last is the touch sensor. It has to be touched to operate it. As you can see, when I touch this touch sensor, the LCD here stops and this has started. Whereas when I touch this touch sensor the lcd here stops and this lcd started ticking so what what are the future applications of this project that you have uh first i st- uh, first i got to know about this uh, from an online chess app which i used to play in and also you can see this in the rubik's cube competitions that uh, one person touches the uh, clock and then Uh, after you finish the Rubik's cube, it uh, you again press and it stops. So I use the idea from that. Okay, amazing, good job, Arya. And it's it felt good talking to you. And thank you so much for displaying your project. Thank you, sir. For... It was a pleasure to uh, showcase my project. Thank you, thank you, and for. more projects please stay tuned and if you have any queries please leave it in the comment section thank you so much